I live in a small town, apparently, and I have for a really long time, and it's not even really much of a town, it's just sort of a highway stop, a place that people go to before they keep on moving elsewhere, you know, somewhere more important. And uh, I live here with my mom and my sister and my grandparents, who are not really my grandparents. They look like some stereotypical uh, folksy grandparents. Um, grandpa's got uh, just like plaid everything, uh, jeans, boots, um, wears a cowboy hat, even though they're not too common in this part of the country. And, um, you know, grandma's like always in front of the oven, uh, got, a, got a pie with a whole bunch of with like the classic like three slats in it that she leaves out on the uh, uh, on the windowsill um, and suddenly there's a big warning that the whole place is gonna go up in flames um, but it's not gonna go up in flames uh, it's treated like a natural disaster but it's not gonna go up in flames because there is a forest fire or anything it's all gonna go up in flames because somebody is literally going to set it on fire uh, and we don't know who, but we just know that it's going to happen. We have some sort of uh, cosmic uh, mutual understanding that somebody is going to set this entire town on fire. Um, so me and my whole family are, <laughs> my whole some real, some only within the context of this dream family, um, we're all scrambling to get out of here because we know it's going to happen any second now. And, you know, we load the dogs in the back of the car and uh, we throw all our stuff and, um, but then my grandpa, my uh, stereotypical old folksy grandpa, doesn't want to leave. He's like, you know, it's not every day that I get to sit down and just be comfortable in my little rocking chair. And uh, I, I don't, I don't want to go with you guys. I want to just enjoy this day as it is. Like, are you going to enjoy this day when, you know, everything is set up in flames? He's like, you know, if, if the cost of uh, sitting here comfortably is that... I'm gonna burn, then I'm okay with that. And uh, my mom starts begging him to go. I'm like, Mom, there's no sense in, in begging him. Yeah, he's got a, he's old, he can make his own decisions now. I'm gonna miss you, Grandpa, that I don't really know very well, but um, you know, we have to get out of here. And so we, uh, we start driving away. And as we're driving away, suddenly this town like quadruples in size from what I thought it was. I thought it was gonna be like, 30 seconds and we're out on the freeway. No, this town is is super long and it just keeps going and going and we're passing by all these small businesses and log cabins and stuff. And uh, I look behind us in the rear view and it's not even, it's not even a rear view shot. Um, it's as though I'm like a camera, a really HD camera that's pointed really far behind me, way farther than you could look with the rear view. And sure enough, there's a guy standing there and literally all he does is just take his little zippo and just throw it on the ground and the fire just shoots out and it goes and it encapsulates the whole town. Um, I can see my perspective jump shots to some people crying like, oh my gosh, the town's burning. Um, but we seem to get out okay and we're on the freeway and I'm like, wow, mom, can you believe that like our hometown just burned up? She's like, yeah, well, you win some, you lose some.